All right, what's on the bench today? Well, I was uh, mailed a box, and uh, this box says Burroughs B8559, sorry, 5859, Nixie numerical indicator tubes, otherwise just known as Nixies. Um, oh, with the drivers too. Uh, so, a uh, gift from a viewer, thank you very much. All right, he even gave me a little handwritten note here. These Nixies have been sitting around my junk box for ages, and I thought you might like to play with them. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Happy New Year. Best for 2024. Thank you very much. Um, so uh, let's take a look inside. So yes, indeed, it does look like Nixies. Let's get them onto a tray. Nice. All right, so we have, uh, these are vertical Nixies and made by the Burroughs Company. I don't know, Burroughs was one of the very first companies to make Nixies. They certainly were, they made a lot of them. Um, and how many do we have? Wow. Let's see here, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, very nice. And, uh, they are on socket. So Nixies have wires that you really can't solder to. They just don't like to be soldered to. Um, so these have already been crimped into pins. And then you can put this all onto a PC board. I don't know if these are socket. Oh, these might be sockets. Yeah, I think these are these are actual sockets that the Nixies have already been put into. It's a pain in the rear to uh, bend all those leads and get them into a Nixie sock socket. So it's nice that it's done for, it's done for you. Here's some extra sockets too. Um, but yeah, these are interesting chips. Um, I'm not familiar with this particular chip. I've used other chips and they're hard to find. And there are some Russian equivalents. I've used the Russian equivalents. Uh, these look like they're official Fairchild parts. Oh, official Fairchild parts. Um, yeah. These are 6919s. Very interesting. All right, let's take a look at some data sheets. All right, uh, here is the, so Nixie was a registered trademark it has a little R with a circle around it. Uh, is that uh, TN? Yeah, I, th I think that's a trademark. Anyway, uh, from the Burroughs Company. Um, Nixie numerical indicator to for DC and time sharing applications. <laughs> so yeah, don't use them for voltmeters. Wait a minute, that's a DC application. Don't use them for AC. Don't use them as an AC voltmeter. That'd be no good. <laughs> I don't know, for DC and time sharing applications. So counters and these uh, VOMs or whatever like that. So uh, diagram here, think about a, a 170 volts to fire, five milliamps, absolute max. Um, yeah, they don't take, they don't need a lot of current. They do need high voltage. They are good for 200,000 hours though. That's pretty good. And they do take a lot of G's, 250 G's. Uh, very cool. All right. So what is a Nixie tube? I think I've done Nixies before. Nixies are just uh, neon light bulbs. Uh, here's one. Here's a neon light bulb. You put voltage on it and, and it glows. And if you put AC on it, they both glow. And if you put DC on it, only one of them glows. These are DC, so only one of them glows. And it's just like a whole bunch of neon light bulbs all in one package and and the anode or cathode I guess the cathode is um, in the shape of a number so number one number two number three and then they they glow tube characteristics anode current oh, interesting well oh, the load lines change depending on what currents and stuff uh, tube characteristics oh, I've never really looked at never really looked at a Nixie uh, Nixie data sheet before. That's that is interesting. Anode resistor 10k, 18k. Huh. Okay. Uh, so we will call this chip of the day 
chip of the day is a C Micro L 990-9960, a decimal decoder driver counting MicroLogic, also trademark, integrated circuit, is a monolithic silicon circuit which accepts 1248 binary coded decimal and then decodes that into Nixie tubes. Um, so yeah, it's it's meant to be a Nixie tube driver. Um, We'll skip ahead here a bit. You can see the data sheet has a, a gas-filled readout. They couldn't say Nixie because that was a uh, trademark of the Burroughs Corporation, but maybe other people had things that looked like Nixies, but they couldn't call them Nixies. Not quite sure about that. I'm not, I'm not that vintage. Um, so the trick of these drivers is, is uh, you've got 170, 200 volts on one side, and they have to be able to withstand that. So they're basically just a bunch of uh, NPN transistors, but um, they uh, need to withstand, oh, they're like open collector, but they need to withstand high voltage. But they're TTL compatible on the input. You power them up with five volts, and uh, you can drive them with 5-volt logic and then uh, drive your Nixies that way. So, so what I think we'll do, I think what we'll do is a project using what my friend gave me. Um, and we'll do a board. I don't know how many digits I'll do, but I'll, I'll lay out a PC board. We'll use his driver chips. And then I have an idea that will make it um, I squared, an I squared C display board. So it'll be a standalone board that you can just send I squared C to and um, uh, talk to it that way. So I have some, hmm, I have some parts waiting for a project. Uh, these are PCA. Five a nine five five seven I squared C expander. We'll have to do a, a chip of the day on those, um, and I believe they are sixteen bit. All right, these are only eight bit, but I have a lot of them. Um, so if we have eight bits, we could do two Nixie tubes, um, and if we use two of these, then we can do four Nixie tubes, and if we do four of them, we can do. Yeah, maybe we'll do something like that and use these up. I don't remember where I got these. I think these were part of a grab bag I found or something. Anyway, I have a bunch of these. And these are surface mount, and these are through hole, and these are Nixies. So that'll be <laughs> that'll be a good that'll be a good good project to do. Um, and then we'll have an I squared C driven display. Uh, I think I'll do eight. Four four is not enough. Four is not enough. We'll do eight. Eight Nixies, and uh, that'll be uh, four of these chips. And uh, how many of the? Let's see. It's one one chip per Nixie, right? Yeah, one chip per Nixie. So we'll need eight. Use eight of these. So we've got plenty of these as well. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four. Yeah. So we'll have a. Uh, We'll have a nice looking, we'll have a nice looking board. Anyway, so that'll be a new project. All right, there we go. One chip of the day, the uh, C Micro L9960. And uh, like I said, I'll do another chip of the day on that thing. And uh, we'll play with Nixies and uh, make a driver board. That'll be a great project.